only on ABC. Oh my God, are you kissing my uncle? Don't you have homework to do? I already finished it. Now, will you please explain to me what's going on in this picture? It's not what it looks like. Well, it looks like you're making out with my uncle. So, um... I want to talk to you about school. I, I just do not feel that the classes you're taking, uh, that they're challenging enough. <laughs> you pick them out yourself. Things can change. Uh, no kidding. So, um, what changed between you wanting my uncle dead and this kiss? See about that? It will happen again. Are you having an affair with my uncle? Since when did you start speaking to me that way? Since when did you stop wanting my uncle dead? He's living under the same roof. I tolerate him because I know that you want to have a relationship with him. That's all. Are you forgetting that I am a married woman? Only because you found out David's a Buchanan. But that does not mean that David isn't a wonderful man. <sighs> Who does hemorrhoid cream commercials. Yeah, most saw it on TV. David is now a working actor. <laughs> and that is not all good glitz and glamour. It takes a lot of hard work. Which he does in L.A. And you're bored. I'm nothing of the sort. Then why are you kissing a guy you're not even into? I would never kiss a guy I wasn't into. Oh, oh so it was a real kiss. Oh. Wait, someone caught you guys. It was Jack, that little beast. <laughs> Jack? Yes, and there's nothing funny about it. No, no. He was trying to blackmail me, threatened to send this picture to David. Whoa, whoa, that's something Todd would do. Exactly. Jack is a chip off the old block. You don't think that's what he'll be like when he grows up, do you? <sighs> Somewhere, there's a 10-year-old little girl, happily riding her bicycle or playing with her dolls, and she's got no idea what she's in for. What are you thinking? So is he a good kisser? Langston, please. I bet he is. It wasn't like that. You're really upset about this. Well, of course I'm upset. Okay, so how did it happen? I don't know. It just sort of happened. Why am I even discussing this with you? Oh, so what? Do we only have an open and honest relationship when it comes to discussing my issues? You think I'm too young to understand? I just don't think it's appropriate. Well, neither is you making out with my uncle while you're still married. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that, but come on. Who else do you have to talk about this with? Yes, it's true. I would normally talk to Blair, but... She's got a lot going on right now. Which is why I'm happy to fill in. So spill. Two orders of arroz con. Advise, Mika. It just happened, okay? You remember what I used to say? Lo que el corazón desea, lo desea. Le cœur désire ce qu'il désire. Sometimes the heart just wants what it wants. You know? Dorian? I wish I had an explanation. I don't quite understand it myself. When your uncle started kissing me... He can't fight chemistry. I do have a boyfriend, remember? I hated your uncle when he first came here and he wanted to take you away from us. But now you're kissing him. It was a mistake. You don't really think that. And how do you know? Simple. You'd delete it if you didn't want to remember it. I was uh, kind of wondering what would have happened if uh, 
Jack had sent that picture to David. Well, that's easy. There are two distinct probabilities. I mean, A, he could rush home to fix things with his beautiful wife. And B, he could tell you to go to hell. So I guess it really depends on which one of those two things you want him to do. You really think you're smart, don't you? I'm a chip off the old block, too. <laughs> Look, whatever you decide, I just want you to be happy. Like I am with Marco. I just wanted to make sure you got to your dad in time. I hope everything's okay. Um, I'll be home later. I just stopped by the diner to meet up with Marco. 